Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Paloma here. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every time I post a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my nursery tour. So the baby's going to be co-sleeping with us, so it's going to be a co-sleeping nursery tour. And this is basically what normal parents do. Like, we obviously have the baby sleeping in our room. Um, right now, I have a two-bedroom, so there's no space to create a nursery room but yeah I'm gonna show you guys my nursery and I'm gonna show you guys like how I organize different things and like fold the clothes and like stuff like that so I do want to give you guys an update on my pregnancy um, if you catch me getting out of breath I'm super pregnant right now and I'm gonna run out of breath so bear with me so I'm currently 37 weeks I think 37 weeks in a couple days let me check on my phone so 37 weeks and two days and like I'm literally gonna give birth so soon like it's crazy right like I don't know it's so crazy but I don't know I really thought throughout this pregnancy that I was literally gonna get ready every day and get cute and take pictures and all that stuff and it was that's not the case like I literally like I've been so lazy I literally wake up, I make breakfast, and then I get on the couch and I'll take a nap and like stuff like that. And I don't know, I like pregnancy is different for everybody. So for you moms out there that get ready every day, do your makeup and all that stuff, props to you because I cannot do that. Like I've tried and I can't. Like sometimes even the thought of putting on makeup, I'm just like, oh, I don't even like I don't even want to do it. So yeah, like that's why um, it's. I feel like it's it's been a month since I recorded on my channel. And it's because every day I'll be like, I'm going to record tomorrow. I'm going to record tomorrow. And then I never record because I don't want to get ready. So, yeah. Um, another thing is that I feel like I'm going to give birth before 40 weeks. So, my due date is July 27th. And I've been getting contractions lately. I went to the doctors yesterday and they told me that I'm 3 centimeters dilated. Which, you know, you're supposed to be 10 centimeters dilated. So, my next appointment is next week. And we're gonna determine to see if I have to go to the hospital or not because um, if you're five to six centimeters, I believe, you have to go to the hospital. So yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen, but I do think it's gonna happen soon. I'm super excited to meet my little man and I have everything ready for him and I'm just so excited. But I'm um, like, I can wait because I still wanna get in my sleep. It's still uncomfortable for me to sleep still because this belly's huge and like you cannot sleep i like sleeping on my stomach and obviously being pregnant you can't sleep on your stomach so i literally have like so many pillows like in front of me and back of me like above me like it's so crazy my man is like what are you doing like you literally take up the whole bed but you know you gotta do what you gotta do when you're pregnant because everything is uncomfortable so um what else do i want to update you guys on um i feel like a lot of like people that I follow on Instagram right now are pregnant so clearly we were not practicing social distancing during quarantine but it's all good and congrats to all you mommies out there that are pregnant um, I am gonna be doing a what's in my hospital bag next and I do want to record my labor and delivery um, it's gonna be like a vlog so I can't wait for that so yeah I guess that's a little update on my pregnancy I'm gonna show you guys how my belly looks and everything in a little bit but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the nursery tour and show you all the details and all the cute little things I have in here. So let's go. So this is what my belly looks like. Um, I'm nine months pregnant guys, so pretty big, pretty big. So when you walk into the bedroom, this is what you see. Pretty simple. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys the dresser. So this dresser, we're basically all sharing it because we have multiple closets in this house that we use for our clothes. So this is the only dresser that I made for the baby. But I'm gonna show you guys. So in here, right here, we have his newborn clothes, so these are like his newborn onesies. I mean his newborn, yeah, like little white t-shirts. And then the little pajama sleepers right here. I didn't get a lot of newborn stuff because babies don't really get use newborn stuff for too long. So yeah, 
then right here we have zero to three months so right here he has a lot of white t-shirts so zero to three months white t-shirts and if you see how i basically rolled them all up so they can all fit and then over here i have some more shirts and these are just like same like t-shirts like the little with the little clip-ons but these just have like different sayings and different colors and stuff like that so yeah those are all right there and then over here we have his um his sleepers so these are all his sleepers right here and he has a lot of more trust me so these are all his sleepers right here a lot of blue a lot of grays and then right here is his shorts so all these clothes so these are newborn zero to three months zero to three months i put these here because it's going to be easier to change him this is where i'm going to be changing him so yeah these are a bunch of his socks right here some little cute slippers these are so cute look guys so cute and then right here he has all his hats so he has a bunch of hats and then some gloves i didn't get a lot of gloves because i feel like babies don't really use them that much and the little onesies have the little gloves so yeah so yeah right there and then these are his swaddlers so he has a couple swaddlers right here and some of them are a little big but yeah super cute and then over here we have all his little things like his little medicines we have a lot of these um the little sample bottles that you get from like your target registry bag and all that stuff some medicine and some gripe water yeah so like all those little essentials you need like this pacifier i bought it's super cute it's like to give him medicine so the yeah obviously i don't really know how it works yet but i seen it online and i was like this is so cute so i'll let you guys know how it actually works so this is his changing pad this is where i'll be basically dressing the baby and changing his diaper and stuff like that as you can see this is what you use it for it has a little belt right here just in case so yeah once he's here i'll take this off and then i have some sheets to put on that as well and then this is a diaper warmer i never used a diaper warmer with my first son but hopefully this works really good so I have some diapers in here already ready to be used once he gets here so yeah that's basically the only thing on there because i like things to be like very simple and minimalistic so yeah right there so over here we have this like um i don't know what you call this but it is from the company munchkin so right here i just have a bunch of things so i have some diapers right here because obviously i'll be changing his diaper right here i have his like lotions and like diaper butt like cream and like all that stuff because obviously I'm gonna be using and changing him right here and then I have some Germex right here and then right here these are um these smell so good but these are um, little bags that you can put in your diaper bag and instead of you having a smelly diaper and throwing it away somewhere you can put it in these bags and it smells really good so you know this is a baby shusher um i hope this works i've heard a lot of good reviews about this and yeah like it's so loud let me see if i can turn it on so as a parent you're always like Shh, trying to put your baby to sleep so maybe this will work i don't know and this just came in the mail that's why it's just there randomly but I wanted this so bad because I'm like, this is so cool. It's like head to toe bath brush and it's super soft. So yeah, I'm excited to use that. Right here, I have his cotton swabs. Are these? Yeah, the ear cotton swabs. Um, I need to buy a container to put those in because I want to put it in like clear container and like make it cute. But yeah. Right here, he has um what are these these are changing pad liners so for the changing pad and then these are this is his um the monitor for the camera some shoes all right so in this section right here i'm sorry if it's super dark uh, my room is kind of dark but here are all his little um i forget what these are called are they birth cloth birth cloths and yeah clearly my mom vocabulary is not there yet and then over here i have all his washcloth rolled up and then a, he has a bunch of towels so he has all those towels and then down here we have his swaddlers so these are like all those water blankets that you use i feel like babies use these a lot for everything and then we have like 
more of the swaddle type and then more of just like the ones you could put on like the couch or the bed if your baby's laying there so he has a lot of those and then here's just some blankets so these are like those comfy cozy blankets and yeah that's what this little area looks like let me show you guys from far so yeah that's what the area looks like so then right here is the diaper pail i have this on top of here because this is something i'm just gonna grab and take it with me when i leave the room like to the living room to the kitchen wherever if i need to change this diaper but this is a diaper pail right here i really like this one because you can just open it with your foot and yeah i guess you close it like this but yeah super cute and then just to spice up the room a little bit i got this little what is this called <laughs> i don't know what anything is called right now because pregnancy brain is real but i got this at ikea i think it was like four bucks and i got this i framed his little first picture from his ultrasound this is a cute little teddy bear and it looks so cute like a little elephant bear oh hold on so cute and then i put his first sneakers that i bought him up here because i don't know these are so oh 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 these are so adorable like i'm obsessed with these like literally just by looking at these it makes me want to have a baby <laughs> so this is a camera and i have the camera pointed this way because this is where he's going to be sleeping i'll show you guys in a minute and yeah the camera is really good this is what the what the it came with the monitor so with the monitor we'll be able to see him from different rooms i didn't really want the one that you use for on your phone because i'm always on my phone so yeah and then this i found at ikea as well i really don't like the little cables everywhere so i have to figure out how to hide them but for now they're there so this is like a little towel holder i guess but it's so freaking cute i'm like it looks so cute in that little area right here so yeah that's a little towel holder when he showers i'll put his towel there to dry so yeah that's that section let me just show you guys And then over here is where he's gonna be sleeping. So this is um, the Halo bassinet. This is a gift from my registry. It's super cute. Like I love how you could swing it around, make it closer, put it further and all that stuff. So yeah, this is definitely a must if you're gonna have your baby sleeping with you. So yeah, this is super cute and I love it. Like how you can like turn it and everything. So that's where he's gonna be sleeping. And then over here, I have another cart full of things. And on the top, I have just like some mommy things. So I have here the, um, I forget what this is called, but this is very popular. It's like a, I think it's called a hacka for your boobs. When you're breastfeeding on one side, you pump the other side and milk comes out. Um, this was a gift. So this is for me when I wanna have a calm, relaxing bath. Um, I have some, what are these? These are the, the booby pads. Um, I have some Germex. Yeah, so this is like some stuff for me basically. And then over here I have all his pacifiers. So this is a cute little pacifier I got. And obviously I'm gonna sterilize them before he comes. Some pacifier holders and then some pacifiers in there. And then out down here I also have some, some diapers and some wipes just in case. You know, I need to change him while he's on the bed and stuff and I don't want to get up in the middle of the night. And then down here, sorry, it's super dark. Um, I really don't have anything in here. This is probably gonna be like extra storage space for things we need and stuff like that. So yeah, that I got at, um, at Michael's for I believe $30 and it comes in handy. Um, this area is kind of tight right here just because this is kind of big, but I love this thing, so yeah. And then I have the mirror right here. Look at my pregnant belly. <laughs> and oh, I forgot to show you guys. This is called a hatch. I haven't tried it out yet, but I heard it's freaking amazing. So I can't wait to try it. Um, I have to connect it and stuff, but I'm gonna connect it once the baby gets here. And then I'm gonna show you guys my bed. Sorry if it's a little wrinkly and stuff, but I really wanted a docker top, but the docker tops are so expensive. And I did hear that you really don't use it much so i ended up buying this at target i think this was like 39 dollars, and this is where i want him to sleep with us at the beginning just because 
you know when you have a newborn you get kind of scared and stuff so yeah I definitely want him to sleep right here with us and this is super cute it's comfortable it's breathable and yeah so that's where he's gonna be sleeping with us so basically that is it for the bedroom part I'm gonna show you guys the closet now so that's his basically his bed for now that's where he's gonna be sleeping with us little storage area and this is where everything else is now i'm going to show you guys the closet all right so right here we have the closet area and he has a bunch of so basically we're sharing a closet i gave him half of my closet and yeah so he has a bunch of little cute things in here i still want to buy that little um thing that it basically like divides the clothes like zero three months and stuff like that so right now i organize it by smallest to biggest obviously just so i won't get confused but these are all his little cute clothes he has a lot of clothes like there's so many and obviously you can see he's a boy so there's a lot of blues in here and then over here he has i washed all of these clothes because they're like three to six months or zero to three months but then these over here i didn't wash because they're like six months nine months and stuff like that so yeah i'm gonna wash them next and then he has a whole bunch of space back there for more clothes which he's gonna get but I know that baby clothes go fast, so I didn't want to just buy a bunch of clothes and just have it there chilling, you know what I mean? So then in here, he also has a bunch of diapers. So that's a whole bunch of diapers right here. Obviously, we're going to end up needing more because babies go through so many diapers. And then here, he has a bunch of wipes. And let's see, this is like a little boppy and like just little things that he has. There's like storage stuff over here. And then right here, I had this little clear bin container in my room when we first moved in because we didn't have a lot of furniture. So I'm like, why does, might as well just use it. And so I put it right here and I put it to use. This is a diaper caddy we received for our baby shower. So in here, he has a bunch of his teddy bears. This is um, a traveling diaper changer. I think that's what it's called. He has some more teddy bears, more teddy bears in here. And then he has a bunch of his sheets in here. And then in the first drawer, I was just trying to utilize space. So I just opened up a couple boxes of the diapers and I put them all in here. So they're all in here. A bunch of diapers, um, I mean a bunch of wipes. And then these are just the diapers we received for free from like the little, um, from like Target and like Bye Bye Baby and all those stuff. So yeah, these are all size one. So I just put them in here. So when he, if we want to try those out and see if they fit one day, we can, or when we start using them. And then right here in the, in the two second drawers, I'm out of breath. So in this drawer is just another blanket we received recently, so I haven't been able to wash it yet. Um, there's just a lot of miscellaneous things. This is for when he takes the sh a bath. And then this is super cute. Um, and then in the sec the third one, we have a whole bunch of things that we're gonna need for him but we don't need them right away the mirror we will need it but then in here we have like that and like these little thingies that he's gonna need for like when he starts teething little bite these are i really like i wish i would have known about this when i had my first child but i guess this is new this is like um a booty brush so you don't have to use your fingers like for diaper cream and stuff like that so that's gonna be so useful so yeah, in here is just like a bunch of things that we're gonna need when he's older and then that's just like a little storage area for it. All right guys, so that is it for the little nursery tour slash pregnancy update. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm gonna be posting more pregnancy type videos soon within the next few weeks because I'm obviously gonna be giving birth soon. So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna put down the links below of a couple of the things that I received. And let me know if you have any questions about anything that I posted, that I showed you guys in this video. Also, let me know if you guys have any ideas of any videos, like last minute videos that I can do because I'm in the mood to record some videos and since the baby's gonna be here soon, I'm really not gonna have that much time. But let me know any videos you want me to record, any mommy videos and stuff like that. So yeah guys, thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next video.